it's a safe space here. Today is the 16th. As we know on here, I don't like to go into things in too much depth. But I will give enough information. So, I promise you I don't talk about the music too much. Just keep watching. The album I'm currently writing, most of the songs were already, like, lyrically written months ago. Okay? Keep that in mind. But here's the thing about this song. I wrote it so recently. End of last month. And the relationship I'm writing the album about, I got cheated on. Right? Yeah. I had a relationship afterwards. And you won't believe what happened to me. Take a wild guess. Twice any roll. <gasps> you want to know how I found out I was being cheated on? I was helping them set up a DS emulator and I swiped down a little search bit when you swipe down on the search the first thing I see was grinder if you don't know what grinder is it's a gay dating slash hookup app um I seen it I left the room I took 10 minutes to myself in the bathroom oh system Android then I came back and was like uh <laughs> are we gonna address I don't know, the elephant in the room. <laughs> they had lame excuses, a bit of emotional manipulation because they're like, I love you so much, you're the best, you know, relationship I've ever had, blah, 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 blah. You cheated on me. What's even crazier is they did it <laughs> whilst at my fucking house. How you doing? and my bathroom whilst I was sleeping or whilst I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the thing is, me and the ex I'm writing the album about are actually on good terms. We're friends. We're flatmates. This person, no contact. They are... I'm trying to be nice. Frankly, a horrible human being. And I don't just mean that because they cheat. Throughout our relationship, they were consistently emotionally manipulative and, dare I say, emotionally abusive. I would say using emotional manipulation to try keep me in a relationship is a bit weird, but they did it. I get so fired up. So when I went to write this song, I was like, well, I was cheated on by the last two people I was with. I guess I can write the song and kind of make it about both of them, but honestly, my head, you know, was in the mindset of uh, my most recent ex, to be honest. Because the paranoia, the way that you get so paranoid when you know someone's cheating, but you just don't have the evidence. Yeah. Also, this is the same person who had, they had all these dating apps. And when called out for it, they were like, I'll delete them. But instead of deleting them, they just deleted the passwords from their phone, but they still had access to them because guess what? Not too f long after, found them on one of the f accounts. And then, I dumped their ass, obviously. Oh my god. Um, big wake up call. My standards need to be raised uh, like crazy. Seriously, it's insane. <laughs> Initially, I was like, I don't know if I ever really want to speak about this because I feel bad for them a little bit. But then I remember how terrible they treated me in the relationship, how they never sh showed up for me, how they prioritized like everyone else in their life over me, how they prioritized <laughs> and glug glug. How they prioritize so many things, the way they treat people. People like that give you such a false image of them when you first meet them. I was sitting there thinking, this person's so nice, this person's so good at communication, they're so blah blah blah. They're not good at communication, they're lying. Half of what they're saying is lies. And I remember telling them, when I broke up with them, I said, you're not ready for a relationship. You should not be in a relationship. You're clearly not emotionally mature enough for this. You're clearly not, you know, you're not mentally there. You're just hurting people. And you know what's crazy? You know what's actually like an insane thing they said? And I didn't really have a reply for it at the time. They said, maybe sometime in the future, when I get better and I work on myself, we can be together. <laughs> I don't understand why people that are 
like punching so hard in a relationship they do not like oh my god i, I lowered my standards so much i lowered them so much Jimmy, that's not a computer by the way what is that like i was so much better than that person and it just it drives me mental <sighs> it's what happens when you let your standards slip but it was my first relationship after after being with my ex fiance and that's like such that was super long term years like years relationship so i guess i just wasn't really 100% sure where to go from there now i know exactly what i do not want and i i'm poking at red flags but i'll say something about dating right now i'll tell you I'll give you some insight into my dating life at the moment. I am on the market. <laughs> I would say I'm being pecky. I'm taking my time and I'm making sure I feel 100% right. Because I cannot let myself get into a situation like this again. I can't be with a cheater again. We had conversations at the start of the relationship, by the way. And we were like... Should we be, should, or so, so are we monogamous or like, what's, what's the relationship vibe? And they're like, well, I mean, what, what are you like into? I'm like, I'm not really into open relationships. I'm a monogamous person. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. Like, great, actually. It would appear monogamous wasn't enough for them. I don't think they'll ever see this, but if they do, they'll probably just be thinking, wow, they're yapping, they're doing all this, like, they're they're talking about me too much here, like, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, but, like, in my head, I'm just like, I should. I should. That's my experience. You treated me like... I deserve to talk about it. And that's why I wrote that song. I get really unhinged when I talk about this. All I would like out of a partner is someone who is supportive, who shows up, who makes time, who knows how to prioritise you correctly. <laughs> just someone who's not f abusive. Like, I just want someone that's good for me. Is that, is that so much to ask? <laughs> if it happens again, then I'm just going to honestly think it's my fault at this point. It is what it is. Also, if you are seeing this video, I hope you change. I hope you become a better person. I hope this is just a blip in your life experience. And I hope this isn't the path that you end down. You always said to me that you feel like you're a horrible person. You feel like you're not good enough in a relationship and blah 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 and honestly with hindsight I agree with you and I've always said I think when people tell you who they are listen because they're usually telling you what they know deep inside and they're just trying to get you to validate them to say oh you're not you're not like that you're not like that not at all Never. Never. But if you really think about it, they're just projecting their own traits out of insecurity. Honestly, I just hope you grow. People are redeemable. You'll, I will never forgive you in my eyes. Doubt you're listening, but just putting it out there. It's my experience. I'm allowed to share it. If you haven't listened to my song, then go listen to it. It's called Paranoia by Lies Me. Um, it's out now. Check it out. I'm gonna get back to editing, but I love you all and f cheers.